My name is Masih Ali Najad. I'm an Iranian journalist, activist, and a troublemaker for the oppressors. When Masih Ali Najad first heard the news of the attack on author Salman Rushdie, she had more reason than most to be concerned. An Iranian-born journalist and women's rights activist, she too has been hunted by the Iranian regime. As a young girl, Masi grew frustrated, living under the strict conservative rules of the Islamic Republic. When you are just seven-year-old girl, you have to fight for everything in Iran. But I had a brother, little brother, who was able to, to sing, to dance, to jump in the river in my beautiful village, to, to go to a stadium, to ride a bicycle, to show his hair. My God, all this basic rights. But I was banned from doing all these activities just because of being a girl. Massey went on to become a journalist and a fierce critic of the Tehran government. The writer was in the United States in 2009 as opposition protests rolled across her homeland. Massey chose to stay where she launched a social media campaign against Iran's compulsory hijab law. This is what Islamic Republic wants me to be. This is what Taliban and ISIS want us to be. And this is my true self. I wake up every morning with the news of Iran, checking the news of Iran. I mean, I go to bed by reading the news, by posting about Iranians on my social media. Right now that I'm talking to you, I have more than 9 million followers, most of them from Iran sending videos to me. So basically, I don't see myself in America. I am in Iran. But I was able to find a window to sneak into my homeland. My window is my social media. The mullahs are watching me and watching millions of women like me who are talking to them and telling them that we're not going to obey the barbaric laws of the Islamic Republic. The activists' very public denunciations have garnered international attention. Now, it is too unsafe for her to re-enter Iran. I miss home. Sometimes I even forget the face of my mother. I haven't seen her for 11 years. I mean, for what? I'm not a criminal. On uh, Iranian state television, you actually hear that Masih Ali Nijad should be executed. You can see my picture in Friday prayer everywhere being hanged. So basically, yes, I can go back, but definitely I'll be executed. But it is not just in Iran that Masih's life is at risk. Now a proud New Yorker, she has survived two plots against her on US soil. In July 2022, police arrested a man who had spent days staking out Massey's home in possession of an AK-47. Iran officials deny any involvement. The kidnapping plot and then the assassination plot just turned my life upside down. It is scary. It is scary because, look, just imagine if the guy with an uh, AK-47 gun in front of my house had opened the fire. Who knows how many of my neighbors would have been killed in Brooklyn. The regime with guns and bullets, with money, with power, with all the state media, they're scared of me. You know, because they can kill me. I don't care. I'm not scared of being killed. But the idea behind my campaign and our fight is clear. They, don't, they cannot kill the idea, the idea of fighting for dignity, fighting for freedom. That's beautiful. For now, Massey's campaign continues as a number of women remain missing after being pictured not wearing a hijab. Hijab, be hijab. Not be hijab, everybody. But in